It's time for a new Aussie baseball brief. Sam Brief here with Luke Wilkins, Todd Van Steensel of the Adelaide Giants, joining me from the hotel room in Melbourne on a road trip. How you going, fellas? We're doing great, Sam. We're yeah, excited to be here. Not too bad. Got a win last night, so we're feeling good this morning. Yeah, victory, morning after victory always works out. And for you guys, you are playing together for the first time in a couple of years. I know you, you go way back. One of you, you guys can pick among yourselves. Tell me how and when you guys first became mates. I, I remember the first time we were on a team together was 2006. We made a New South Wales touring team to travel to China. And I thought Wilco was the cool guy in the team because he was the older guy. I'm like, oh, that's Luke Wilkins. He pitched for the under-18s team. And I was just under-16s kid, so I thought it was pretty cool playing with one of the older guys. <laughs> He's still one of the older guys. <laughs> yeah, now he's even older. How does it feel to be sitting next to Luke Wilkins, one of the cool kids? Must be pretty awesome. It, it honestly is pretty funny because we used to do winter development and the under-14s, under-16s would all train together. When I was an under-14s, he was under-16. So I literally always thought he was the cool kid. <laughs> Luke, what Literally, was your first impression of Todd? Uh, oh, it hasn't changed much, to be honest. Goofball, but pretty good at baseball. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> so going back to 2006, now we're in 2023. It's been a while. You guys have almost a lifetime of playing baseball together. For each of you, what's a memory that stands out, whether it's from youth ball, from Sydney, from Adelaide, anything? Uh, well, I'll, I'll take this one first. Um, probably the most memorable moment for me. I mean, as you said, we played together together. Like we played in the same local club in Sydney together. Uh, we played on like New South Wales teams. We played in the ABL together for like 12 years now. But at the time it was probably four or five years ago. Obviously, TBS had a probably a more coveted uh, earlier career than me and had a lot more achievements. And he'd be on the Australian team for a bunch of big events. But um, we saw a photo together my first my first time playing for Australia when we played um in the exhibition series in japan i think it was in 2018 um that was like my first australian team even being the older guy uh it was my first australian team so being on the set finally on the on the big boy team with tvs was probably a favorite moment of mine again to get him to, to join him on, on the big stage yeah and for me that's also number one but another one was when we got to play against each other for the first time we were teammates for 15 16 years and then when we play in the american association i was with st paul he was with Fargo in Chicago, and that was the first time we've played against each other. So that was pretty fun. Like, I wanted to win the game, but I wanted him to do well. So it was kind of weird, that dynamic, watching my team play. But, yeah, that, that was pretty enjoyable from my perspective. The funny thing about that one is I was actually in the press box for that series because Luke was with Chicago. I was broadcasting for Chicago. And I remember two of you outside of our team hotel in St. Paul, riding on those electric scooters. I think yep. Todd was driving and Luke was like hugging the back and you guys That's were just riding road. around. It was a pretty beautiful thing to see. It was similar to, to that Titanic scene, yeah. I think. That's all we needed, a soundtrack in the background. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We had Leo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. Todd's Leo. <laughs> and uh, You're Luke pointing at me Kate. right to be Leo, right? The fans can decide. <laughs> Uh, you two clearly know how to have a good time together. And you guys are clearly happy playing together. I want to end with this, kind of test your knowledge here, sort of like the newlywed game, okay? I'm going to ask each of you oh, a question God. about the other person and see who does better. Are you ready? Go. All, right, go. All right, Luke, I want to ask you first. Tell me, if you stop at a servo on a road trip with Todd, what sort of food is he most likely to purchase? Oh, it's pretty frivolous, man. He doesn't like spend money at that kind of thing. You know, when the whole team goes and buys a whole bunch of crap they don't need, TBS will just sit in the bus and be like, nah, I'm good. So I'm water, water maybe, but I okay. say water. That's probably so you're it. saying water or nothing. Final answer. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Tom? I can't afford the calories. <laughs> I see people walking around with packets of chips and chocolates, and I'm like, I wish I could do that. <laughs> All right, so bingo, water or just uh, you'll take a pass? Yeah. Okay, one point for Luke. Todd, now for you. What restaurant 
would Luke save if I were eliminating every restaurant on earth and he could save just one? There was this one place in Sydney we would go to all the time. We just called it the hole in the wall and had some of the best like Chinese food in the country, I'd say. I reckon it's that one. The DY Sizzlin' Hot Pot is what it was called. <laughs> Let's hear it. Yeah. Luke? Uh, he's got he's bang on. He's bang on. Oh, you guys are too good. Too good. Okay. Yeah, that was our date spot. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a perfect way to end. I'm going to leave it at a 1-1 tie. Usually I'm like, (laughs) ties are anathema to me. I can't handle them. But that's just perfect. You guys know each other. I love it. Let's end right there. Todd Van Steen, so Luke Wilkins, thanks so much for joining, mates. All right. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Sam. That's Todd. That's Luke. I'm Sam Brief. This has been the Aussie Baseball Brief. We'll talk next time.